Oh, hello. Hi, this is Mark, your data privacy pal. I read, just read an article on Forbes.com about someone saying that, you know, while Zoom is a very good uh, app that we use during this COVID-19, but this person had some issues with the, or rather concerning issues regarding the data collection policies of Zoom. So just for you to know, data protection regulation in most parts of the world have a common principles like collection, usage, and disclosure. And even in PDPA in Singapore, we also have similar rules just like that of GDPR and CCPA. GDPR stands for General Data Protection Regulations and CCPA stands for California Consumer Protection, I believe it's Act. Correct me if I'm wrong. Anyway, yes, I am also very thankful for Zoom. In fact, I just had a Zoom call, that's why I'm here. And uh, not only Zoom, but other apps like Skype, Google Hangout, just name a few. And I believe we users need to keep in mind that we still need to maintain our data privacy as we use these apps for work because there are real risks. So what are these risks? Let me explain. First, the moment we go on the internet, there are inherent risks. Hackers, well, leak data leaks, over collection, that's one risk. And in this case of Zoom, as I also read through their privacy policy, it was, I noted that in the privacy policy, they said that they do collect your personal data and store it in their servers in the USA. And these apps also make life easy for us because when we do our meetings online, we can very simply transfer files, just drag and drop, isn't it? Now, we can be very careful because we do not know whether these transfer servers are secure. So what do I suggest? This is what I suggest. First thing, make sure your devices, your phones, laptops, tablets, have the appropriate and updated uh, security patches, virus scans, and even firewalls if your company policies dictate that. Secondly, when you speak on these platforms, you got to know and make sure that you know everybody in the group because you do not want a stranger to be listening to some of your company secrets or worse, when you are sharing certain privacy information or, pers or uh, personal data, it might be leaked. And for that matter, we shouldn't be sharing too much personal data through these uh, online platforms too because again, we do not know if our devices are secure or we do not know whether the servers are secure. And last but not least, certainly we must be very, very careful when we transfer files. Remember, like I said before, we do not know how secure these transfer servers are. So if you ever go to transfer files, first of all, make sure that they don't contain personal data or company data. And if they do, it might be a good idea to encrypt them or perhaps just send a link and make sure the link is encrypted or have access rights permissions. So these are quick tips for you. And I guess apart from Zoom, there are other apps like Google Meetup, there is Skype, even Facebook Live. These are pretty good apps you might want to try. But like I said, take note of the privacy rules and your own com uh, company policies as well as national regulations. So good day, have a good day, keep healthy, and I'll see you real soon. This is, this is Mark, your data protection pal, signing off. Bye-bye.